Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is OG and today we are back. So it's not live gameplay, but I really wanted to focus. I haven't gotten to play Power League off of stream at all really. So I was enjoying myself, played five games and uh, yeah, definitely had a good time. So they're gonna be all tank games as well. I don't only last pick. This wasn't a last pick. I did go Sam because they had Stu and Gus and we already had a Poco. So I kind of figured I could make it work into whatever. And you can see I'm just playing off of this corner right here. Now, I don't think Colette's the best in the Sam. And I think another big misplay by the Colette is you need to be on push Colette here. Um, but Sam's healing kind of makes it really awkward for Colette to ever like kill him, I think. So I probably wouldn't be picking Colette. And if I do, I would definitely be going the push Colette here. So I just need to stay alive here. Like I said, look at that. Beautiful. The triple hit on the Sam super. So that comes right back when you hit all three. So very nice. Definitely uh, enjoying myself. I got a really good Poco 2 pain. So I know he got me. He knows how to like help support the tank player. He played with RBM for a year. Uh, so pain knows the drill. And uh, yeah, you can just see how easy this game was. I literally just spam my super against that wall the whole time all right guys game number two now make sure you guys are using code og in the shop uh to help support me would appreciate it a lot code og in any supercell game love you guys uh so yeah pretty much the main risk with sam is if i can't for whatever reason get up high there to that one uh, tile of wall or whatever you want to call it, like the three unbreakable walls. I can do it on the other side too. Uh, I'm just, I spawned on that side. Something that I've learned, I've definitely picked it here a bunch of times and sometimes it does good, sometimes it does bad. There I do trade kills and I get a lot of value. So I think it's fine there, like going down. Teammates should be able to hold it down. Um, but yeah, one thing that I learned on this map in particular, and I think it kind of goes for the other maps, do not run through mid like it sounds kind of awkward Sam on lane, but it definitely Okay, so pretty much the logic is if you go through mid you'll get shot by like potentially three people you go down a lane One to two max and uh, yeah, you just get down there as fast as you can So do not go mid on this map with Sam. I've tried it. It's very difficult And if you mess the startup like I know this game looks very easy if we're in our spawn and they have position and we're trying to get out like into their comp, I think it's going to be a rough time. Like it's definitely doable, don't get me wrong, but this game is so easy when you have position and they can't break those walls, like I said. So yeah, they just give up at that point. Nice little double kill there as well. Little spins because I love pain, Te Amo's pain. Um, but yeah, pretty clean sim gameplay. Alright guys, game number two. Now, like I said, I did want to do like tanks only and just like kind of see how it went. So these games are all consecutive by the way. And my teammates went Spike and Colette. So I had to last pick a tank and I was like, yo, honestly, like I've tried this before. So Buster mid here, it's kind of like people play Sandy mid here too. Um, and they already took Jesse, which is probably the best mid uh, on this map in my opinion right now. So yeah, pretty much I am just going to cover my lanes. I'm going to threaten to pull anyone that uh you know overextends on the left side i can even sneak up the right side i do have to be careful because i have gems but i'm gonna be like really trying to support and pinch out my lanes here so yeah i know the um macy's in a bad spot there he wastes his gadget and his super he didn't get any value so yeah i can also cancel the macy super i just have to time it correctly with my gadget and buster it's really good at blocking the pam shots in particular or scrappy shots as well but obviously like that's like more situational but i can kind of make a jesse turret solo itself which is a little funny but uh yeah here i'm just gonna pinch it out like i said help sword there and just make sure his lane stays nice and healthy. See Mewtwo is getting in behind us, so I definitely gotta get him out of there. He's low, I know that's gonna be the main threat. Now, if I do a super, when I get Macy uh, supered, I don't get knocked back, which is pretty good as well. So, I do think Buster was a pretty decent pick here for mid. I don't know what else I would really go, honestly. Like, the bands were kinda weird too. I uh, definitely don't wanna go like, I don't know. I think I think it was fine into this, honestly. So just need to play a little safe. Um, yeah, and luckily he didn't chain off me there. I'm gonna gadget him and I'll take him out there as well. So nice little peeking from the buster. It's really good at that. And yeah, here I do get my super, so there's no need to rush. 
they're gonna have a really hard time killing me. The only way they kill me is if I overextend or like Mewtwo kind of like chains on us. I can always gadget him like that. I, I'm not sure I might have finished this game with a gadget. But yeah, that's my boy Sword, so it's <laughs> been with Sword. Um, but yeah, you can see pretty good Buster game. All right, guys, so game number two. And uh, yeah, I'm just making sure it's Sword. That's my boy right there. Um, yeah, here they kind of make an adaptment. I think the Jesse goes right side um, and the Macy goes mid, which I think is smart. But um, they should have done it from the start because Jesse should definitely like hard win versus Spike. But uh, Sword kind of got position, and you can just see like when you get like the lanes messed up, I think it is pretty uh, terrible on a lot of maps. So they're getting mad at each other at this point. Um, I think the Pam, maybe he wanted the Pam on the other side of the map. But you can just see the Buster super into the Pam. It's like, it does so much damage. So it's really good into like Lola, Pam, or something like that, the super in particular. Max, just brawlers that shoot like a bunch of bullets. Um, and yeah, you can see, I do want to be really aggro and just kind of get them out of our grass as well. There's no way, like, I'm Buster, like, you're half HP, like, I'm not letting you stay in there. I can just run at you, like, I'll two-shot you, cancel your super. Nice super from uh, the clut there as well. And uh, yeah, just making sure, like, I don't need to overextend. That gem's on their side. I could go for it, but I was thinking, like, I popped my gadget because, like, I thought I could maybe, like, peek him. Uh, I try canceling Mewtwo super there, the Macy super, but uh, it doesn't work. Fortunately, did it a little late, but I'm just gonna go clean up and uh, yeah, we'll finish the Pam up as well. So pretty like safe, just kind of like making sure my lanes don't get in too much trouble as well. Spinning with my boy Sword, of course. Uh, that's my day one right there, and yeah. You can play tanks mid sometimes. Okay, maybe like Buster. <laughs> don't go play like Daryl did. Alright guys, game number three. Now this has become one of my favorite picks and it's always something that I'm keeping in the back of my mind when I play Pinball Dreams. I hate this map. This pick has made it much more bearable. So I did go Fang fifth here. Now I saw they went Brock and Gray, so I know they want to open it up and I don't want to go something to poke with like we have like a Barley and um yeah we had a Barley at that point. Um and I didn't want to go something to poke, I wanted to go something aggro, especially Sword went uh, Byron before me too, so I thought like, you know, maybe we can work. And uh, yeah, I just figured it would be like fine, like I can play into a primo with Fang, it's more, I think we could have scored earlier there too, but uh, yeah, unfortunately, uh, nice kill for me though, and uh, just to stay alive, but I think we definitely could have scored, I forget there's a great TP there, it's like half hidden to be fair, but um, yeah, I get TP'd on. I do really like Fang here, and something that like might look a little like unorthodox, unorthodox to you guys is I am playing the popcorn gadget, so uh, corn foo, whatever it's called. I actually think it's the better gadget. So unless I'm playing in something like, uh, let me think, like a Daryl or a Carl or something that I need a stun to like cancel something in their kit, uh, I've been going corn foo like pretty much every time. Um, but really good defense from my teammates here as well, and yeah, I am able to just like clean up. Like, I'm not worried about like saving my supers. Like, like I said, they don't have a lot of kill threat on me besides the primo. If I'm getting killed by the gray or the brock, like, I need to dodge a shot. <laughs> like, honestly, even like I do have a Byron here, so I'm gonna play a little more aggro than I would without one. Uh, and yeah, I will get hit more, but I do have a Byron, like I said, so I want to go for the brock here, but I can't leave them with the primo same time so i'm planning like just kind of front line do you have to stay alive though of course so uh yes yeah, just gonna back off a little bit here and uh when the primo goes in though and we get away with killing him or like i know we can kill him i thought we could kill him i guess that's my fault um i probably should have got like one more auto on him maybe i didn't know that i would bounce on the gray i can't remember exactly but yeah definitely should have focused more on killing him but here, I know I can chain supers, and uh, yeah, I think I managed to team wipe, or I get them pretty low. Primo misses his jump, and I got a regen here. Hopefully, the barley can pass me the ball, and I can just walk it in. So, pretty good play. Um, yeah, I definitely can kill a Primo, though. Just uh, not like Primo's range. I can poke him. Not like that, but there's a tile range where you can kind of like 2 point, like 2k, 2.4k with damage gear or something like that. Uh, without getting autoed by the Primo. 
So yeah, here looking to make a play as well. Got to be careful with the gray TP. So always keep your eye on the ball and brawl ball. And uh, I see they're all low, so I'm like, all right, this looks like a juicy fang super time. So I want to push the ball up there, and yeah, I think I do take them all out, just the primo. But uh, yeah, pretty, like, with fang, I feel like a lot of people think it's super mechanical. And uh, you can get very mechanical on it, but a lot of it's timing, to be honest. So yeah, you can see at the start, I did use all three of my gadgets last game. I thought we could really score, and I know we can. Uh, the ball just got pushed in kind of like a weird place. But here, I think uh, you can kind of see, like, the gadget applies so much pressure, and I know I don't even have to play my lane, really. Like, I can, like, literally just, like, go for him, then pop my gadget, get some spacing. Sword does a great job passing the ball. Look at that gadget, bro. Like, 3k damage, just like that. And, uh, yeah, you don't have to play your lane sometimes. Like, if you can just, like, get on top of someone else with, like, a gray, like, fang, or just, I don't know, primo jump, anything, um, it's, like, much better sometimes, honestly. So, yeah, Sword's gonna keep me nice and healthy there. I see he's low as well. I'm gonna pop the popcorn, uh, no pun intended, and just kind of straight line. The primo, he got caught on the wrong side. So, yeah, Sword's gonna heal me up, and we'll just finish it off. So, yeah, pretty clean fan game. All right, guys. <laughs> this one, I was really testing my limits. I do think Primo was the right pick here. Um, I last picked Primo. And, uh, yeah, Nita is probably one of Primo's worst matchups, I think. But he made a pretty big mistake not going stun Nita. Um, I think stun Nita into tanks, almost a necessity. But to be fair, like, I also think Poco's getting into tanks. And it may sound weird. Um, but yeah, Poco, in my opinion, is very good into tanks, as long as you have, like, other damage, because you pretty much get infinite heals. So my lane, like, I won, it looks weird, I didn't hit a shot, but I got him into spawn, my teammates did a good job on their lanes as well. I could try switching, going on the barley, but, like, it's great into barley, like, I'll just let him do his thing, like, that's a very free lane on this map in particular, you can just see just like that. So well played by Cute Autumn there as well. Uh, I did say Primo's really good into Nita. Or, sorry, Anita's really good into Primo, but Primo is probably the best brawler for taking her bear out. So, Primo's also, like, my worst brawler in the game. But you can see I'm getting some good value. I could have killed him there, but I don't think we'll score either way. The Anita's too healthy, and, uh, yeah, I do- I don't want to spawn in with, like, no super. Ideally, I can just chain supers, like, apply pressure, and, uh, get my team some position. So... I'm not the best, like I said. Probably my worst brawler, honestly. Um, but I know when I see someone, I can jump on them and kill them. And fortunately, you see me auto-aiming the barley. Poco zero supercharge now, though. So even though I do go down, I get like a lot of stuff out. I get the Poco super out. Uh, the Nita use super as well. I see the Nita over there. I know I can just go on them. And uh, yeah, I'll go to kill the barley as well. So you can see the Primo pick really paying off here. Got to watch for a goal. Luckily our Gray is spawning in at the right time. And uh, yeah, just gonna, you can make a lot of good plays with Primo and Gray. Just because you can cover so much of the map, uh, you just TP up and then you can Primo super or whatever. So I'm getting close to the super here. So I want to make sure I don't get hit by the Nita, but I'm actually like strategically getting hit by the Poco because I know I'm like one shot to super, then I can just do that and score. So, it's all kind of like playing around your super with Primo, I think, from someone who's terrible at Primo. <laughs> Alright, game number two. So yeah, gonna strategically get hit on the right side of the map as well. And I don't think running down in a straight line and just like dying and lo losing all control is really how you play it. I could be wrong though, uh, but I think like just kind of like getting hit like once or twice, getting position, and uh, making them go into awkward places like right now. Um, but yeah. I am getting kind of close to my super. I don't want to feed Poco, but I kind of am at this point. Uh, I think the Poco heal is just very annoying. Clean gray play from Q Autumn. That was so good. Um, yeah, I haven't had the best Power League experience with Q Autumn this season, <laughs> but that was actually so clean. And I see my teammates, they kind of troll there. They're both like, I don't know what they're doing, like just walking into Poco. Um, so, yeah, then I troll. I was just auto-aiming, and I did get the ball, but I think he gets it out. 
So we just kind of have to cycle deaths here, and yeah, he's playing really good on the gray, honestly. Uh, besides like the mistake where they just both walked into the poker shots for whatever reasons, I think he's doing a really good job on the gray. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna look to TP in on them, and just this is the way I was talking about earlier. And I gotta watch the ball. I think need to score is there if I'm not there. Um, I think we do get the ball out here, but yeah, you can see nice kill as well. Throw the ball out. Yeah, so just all about cycling deaths at this point when we're put in that really awkward position. And uh, yeah, I am going to go for them up here. And I do get position. I get... Unfortunately, they do have like two pairs now. Um, but I think it's fine. I buy a lot of time. And uh, you can see we're just pushing up here as well. So I'm going to go for Code Ash there. And I'm uh, going to go for the Barley as well. Almost get him. The bear does take me out, I think. I would have killed him with one more punch, and I was in the middle of it, but the bear got me. Um, so 30 seconds left. I think we kind of troll. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was my fault, honestly. Um, at this point, I probably don't need to feed as hard, but... Uh, oh, I remember. I get kind of... Like, I get a really good super here, but... Unfortunately, I knew I should have went back, kinda, but I also thought we could... Honestly, that's not my fault. Like, the Mr. Mr. P, like, teleported away. Um, but, yeah, it's fine. I have my jump in overtime. We all have supers. I don't want to feed them here. I already have my supers, so I'm just going to back off a little bit. Kind of look for my opportunity. And, uh, yeah, we're both going to go in at the same time. I think that's fine. Like, we got a great TP out. And uh, like I said, we can make some really good plays with great TP. As long as we don't get scored on, it's definitely fine. And yeah, here, like, this is why I want the great TP out. And just go like that. Kill the Poco really fast. And uh, yeah, he can look to make a play. And uh, nice super shot by him as well. So really well played by the gray. All right, guys. This is going to be the last tank game of the video. We haven't lost a single game yet, by the way. Uh, so it's been going pretty good. I am going to be on BB. So uh, they went Brock and Colt, um, and we already had Bonnie. And Alexis, he was just flashing the Daryl. I'm like, all right, bro, you go Daryl, I go like BB or something, like to run it down. Like, we just go. So I love BB a lot into Brawlers uh, that I can just kind of wiggle. Obviously, the Surge, Patchy Pirate. Um, it's very good into our comp, but I don't think he has enough ammo to deal with all of us. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking to just kind of get off of the surge and I need my teammates to go in with me as a thing. So I'm just going to pop my gadget, stay alive there. Daryl does move up. I see B, or yeah, the, sorry, not BB, uh, Bonnie jumped in and, uh, we all know it's time to go in. So we get a nice, like 40% there. They're just pinching me here. Sword should definitely super me. Patchy's getting mad at Sword. <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. We were all like kind of been friends for like a long time, so Patchy and Sword getting a little mad at each other. <laughs> and yeah, this game is over at this point. Um But yeah, don't go broken cold. <laughs> Alright guys, game number two. Uh so yeah, same thing, looking to get on their side, make them waste all their ammo on me. I honestly think it's almost pointless for Brock to try shooting me. It's so hard to, as I say that, get hit twice. But to be fair, I'm going through a small choke point. But um, BB is so easy to dodge Brock with. Don't hit me again, Sword, please. Um, and yeah, we're just kind of like looking for a good time to go in. Notice I can get a hit on Little Patchy there. And uh, just going to take that back out. Just need to stay alive, stay healthy. These games are so much easier to play if uh, you have position rather than like fighting into it. And I didn't know Patchy could kill me here, honestly. I guess it's because he got a hit on me first, but I thought I could get a hit on him. Uh, he just popped me really fast, so if I'm shield BB, probably live there. But I wanted to go speed here just because they do have a Brock and a Colt, so I wanted to just kind of like get slimy a little bit. Really nice play from the Daryl there. Buying a lot of space, and uh, yeah, we're going to kill both of them, and we're going to get a ton of damage here as well. So this Daryl played really good. Honestly, the Bonnie played good too. Everyone on my team did good. Just going to do like a nice 40% there. And uh, yeah, we are going to go down, but I think it's fine. Daryl is going to get a nice roll on Colt. Kind of a misplay from Colt. This Daryl's going crazy, by the way. Really well played by Alexis, whoever he is. Um... 
And yeah, just gonna go for Patchy. I know the other two can't kill me. I'll pop my gadget as well. I'm just kinda... They've given up at this point, I think. Um, yeah, Patchy. <laughs> Patchy does not have the strongest Power League mental, to be honest. He gets very mad at his Power League TV. I don't think he cares about it at the season at, at this point, but it's kind of funny to watch. Alright guys, that is going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed tanks only. I'm sitting at number 6 right now. I have been taking it a little less seriously, but honestly it feels good to not play these games live. I can just kind of focus on the game and not uh, dealing with YouTube chat. <laughs> but yeah, please remember to like and subscribe and use code OG in the Supercell shop. Thank you so much guys. See you next time. Peace.